Hello guys and welcome. So what is this video about? Well, it's simple. Well, I don't know if it will be short, but let's call it a tutorial for Dead Zone server. So with that said, let's begin. So first of all, we have to show you around the spawn. This where I am currently is like your uh, general area and well spawn all around. So as you can see, you have subway portals and behind you, you have farmer's market. Subway portals, well, they are portals as you can see and they lead to many useful and interesting buildings like Hickory Dickory Duck and Choco Isle which has some amazing buildings in it. Then you have Libby, not the Libby's but Lobby Arrivals only. Uh, this is the place where you will start and come here to spawn but I think I just can show you because I already was there and my default spawn location is spawn and it doesn't work for me. Then we have Libby's Castle and Maze which is also amazing place to loot if you're not too late. Uh, North Cities which is like a wild location to plop you up in some kind of town. Then we have Southeast City same as Northeast City right? Northeast or North Cities. Then we have Steampunk which is amazing Steampunk uh, dungeon which you can loot and Choco's Underground Maze which of course is just maze. What can you expect from maze, right? Well, Farmer's Market, what does it do? Well, honestly, I am not sure. This is where most of the folks on the server come and trade items by putting, I don't know, something in those carts but other than that, I guess you have a vending machine for food and um, you have a lot of items that people sell to those vending machines or rent. Because vending machine unknown, I don't know how those machines work, but as you can see, there are many things. So you can buy a lot of stuff and I guess sell, but as you can see, those machines, oh, it's actually someone's. So I guess you can rent those machines, uh, pardon me, but a uh, farmer's market is like your first uh, shop to go. Then if you go behind, so let me just show you map. So if you go to here, as you can see you spawn where my mouse is right now, if you can see it, in the middle. If you go down here, you have, um, let's say, a crafting station. So let me show you how they look like. As you can see right here we have a workstation nation. So what is it? Well basically it just gives you tons of workbenches you can use. And it has, oh sorry for frame rate, it has two floors so there is a lot of crafting to be done here. So you can craft even while you don't have uh, your workbench ready. Then as you can see you have chemical bond which is like uh, left of the workstation nation and basically it's just a full of those um, can stations that you can use even before you get one of your own. So it's pretty good to have all of things that spawn. Now this is a, let's call it theater, but it's actually a custom quest vendors. So custom quests give you uh, items that you can only get like on the server. For example, as you can see, this guy sells expanded ammo quests, dropping quests, super auger quests, auto crossbow quests, and uh, quests. Shut up. Quests change every week, so if you didn't get some quest that was week before, you can just get it at the trader because he will get that stocked. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. That's how I got my XP ammo and super auger, which is right now at my home. As you can see when you spawn and you go to the left of you, like right you turn left, um, I hope you got that. So you can see you have those uh, mining stations and well what are they? They just offer you free resources so if you want to build a lot you can get as you can see everything that you can find in the wild. And some custom or some custom ores like uh, zinc, which looks like the bedrock ore, and I guess um, back there the copper ore I think, which looks like sandstone. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, there's one catch of course with those um, 
free resources and that is that they give less resources than ones you find in the wild. So yeah, that's a bit bad, but hey, those are free, you can't complain. On the opposite side of the workstation nation and camping, you have spawn pawn, which shelters two of the traders. So yeah, as you can see, those guys are here and they will accept everything you sell to them. Like, nearly everything, of course, not everything. Then you have one trader at home and garden. As you can see, he is here and he is also ready to accept all of your unneeded items you want to sell to him. Then you have a fire pit restaurant, which honestly, even though idea behind it is good, it's not that useless. I mean, useful, because, let's be honest, if you can't get 8 stones and craft yourself a campfire, you're better quitting this game right now to like spare you some pain. Because, you know, this game requires a bit more to get into it. This one, the forge room, you might find useful because not everyone can get forge right off the bat because leather is sometimes, uh, let's say, pain in the ass to find. Because on this server, if I'm not wrong, you need to have skill and that is uh, hide and leather tanning to be able to scrap leather. So either you find leather in the wild or find those couches that are made from leather or you are borked and have to use those forges. Or just ask someone like me, who is good in heart, to craft you one for free of charge. So you see everything that is on the spawn and you are ready to head out. But there's one one thing that I didn't show you and that is those things. Now you might wonder what is this? Well, those are actually player rooms that you can rent. And I don't know if there are many free at the spawn right now, but what they are, they are like... Imagine you are renting a flat at some uh, town and you get it for free actually. And all you need to do is just ask Admi, like type, hey, uh, Libby, or hey, Peach, or hey, Checo, uh, can I have free room at spawn? And they'll be like, poof, here's your door or admin door and here you go, just place it down and you have a free room you can build in, which is amazing because it's safe from screamers, safe from horror days, uh, safe from uh, just stealing items if you forget to lock your containers or it's basically like you're immune to everything other than that of course. Now finally you got familiar with the whole spawn and you are ready to head out. Of course you have two ways, well two sides to head out, but actually even two ways. You have two uh, way to get out, just hop and you are out of the spawn or you can use teleports to teleport to some random city and start from there. But many people just go around the spawn and oh, they see someone building around the spawn and they ask themselves, uh, how do I build that spawn? How do I claim a plot? Well, let me shed a light on that because it's actually pretty easy, you know? Um, first of all, we need to find a free spot and that is a screamer. Okay, let's forget about her and try to find a free spot, shall we? So, Vila. Anyways, uh, I was... <laughs> I went a little nuts and forgot how to get here, but if there's no free spots or plots at a spawn, you can go plots too, as you saw in the chat, and you will get here. Now, what is this? It's, of course, what I wanted to show you at spawn, and yeah, as you can see, it's free spot. So, how do you climb it? You just go here, you see this uh, block, you just take it out, place your climb block down, and bam, you have a plot to cl uh, build on. Now, this is not like your spawn room, because it's like in the wild, so Zombies can attack you, screamers can attack you, zombies can spawn around you, uh, you will get attacked on order, your base will get attacked, so... It's like a plot for you to build, where you can be around other players, so you don't have to be alone. But it's also, like, pretty nice, because some people actually build some nice things, and then there are some things that look like, um, doo-doo. <laughs> 
Now let me show you one more thing that can like help you if you are new to the server and just watching this video and that is uh, charity house. So you type this and you get into this thing and you can find a lot of things that you might don't know about this server like dead zones auto machines like auto miners, auto woodcutters, auto farmers, animal snares and the chicken coops. Like you have all info here but if you want to read I'll just go slowly so you can pause and read it. But yeah you can just come here anytime and just read it and as you can see you can fill your bottles with fresh water from sinks from fridges and from water fountains which look like those and in the charity house as you can see you have many things you can take like medical food and drink fishing gardening clothing and armor tools schematics maps and etc so you have a lot of things that can help you out of course there are some rules like of course don't scrap all the items don't take all the items for you be like think of others like Maybe you don't need something you can put in here and imagine like you wasted all this time spending uh, your resources to craft uh, items for charity house like usually I do and there some schmuck comes and just takes everything for him. Like why dude? It's not fun for everyone. I mean I want to be good but if people do that, I mean even admin has had to put like restrictions so people don't do that like take everything from them. Or not from them but from charity house because you know some people were pardon my language but dicks now welcome to plaza so plaza or plaza or how you will pronounce it so what is this uh, this actually is a player market so as you can see there are names and there are those vending machines and there are people and what they sell so as you can see, Cool G, Dead Time Books, Z Spawn, Juan Valdez, Huffy and Cantina, like Pegasus, Blade Song, and as you can see, one boat or boot peer character plays up to three machines and up to three spawn secure storage chests. So you can refill the machines. Anyways, I have my vending machine too. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, it's here. And I don't have a third machine yet because I'm too lazy to buy it, but I have some useful ticks for new players, like tools and weapons. I mean, as you can see, there's lots of useful things. Will come in future, of course, but this one actually has a lot of things that might interest you, like, as you can see, weapon attachments for automatics. Then you have a lot of recipes, like, so you are spared of looting, and you have herbal antibiotics recipe, and there were some other recipes like uh, auto gun and uh, actually auto handgun and auto shotgun recipes but someone actually got them so yeah if you come check in later maybe there will be more you never know welcome to casino so i did a video explaining on casino works but in the short story you can watch that video on my channel it is like right next to this video on the upload list anyways what is casino uh, casino is a place where you get free rewards and earn more than you come with so you need a casino card you need dukes and uh, that's all you just come here and you equip your casino card uh, left click on machine wait a few seconds and you get your rewards it's easy right how to get casino cards you get it from um, you can get it from a shop and type shop custom and as you can see if server responds you get casino cards on the first spot see you zero one and you just buy it by typing buy oops buy come on why am i pressing that see you zero one and one and that will buy you one casino cards and you buy it with dead bucks which you get by killing zombies and waiting and i guess um lottery and yeah i guess that's that about the dead box now one thing um not many what is that hello okay grass <laughs> anyways one thing that many players don't know that join dead zone server 
You know how you need to place a land climb block to be able to pick up your workbench, your everything? You just do this and you wait 15 seconds, yada yada yada. Well, fuck that. On that zone PV server, you can just take your auger or pickaxe or whatever tool you prefer and just mine the hell out of it. Like, it doesn't need to be in claimed zone, so if you find a forge, if you find a workbench, if you find a camp station in the wild, feel free to walk it all the time and just take it for yourself because it will spare you a lot of resources, a lot of time on everything. Like, don't be scared, it also works on auto machines. Like, yeah, as you can see, this was auto miner, and if you mine it, you get it back. And oh boy, I think I found an exploit which I will tell admin later. Anyways, let me show you one more thing while we are here and that is auto machines. So as you can see, you get this kind of loot from auto miners and this kind of loot from auto farmers. As you can see, it's pretty decent loot and those are woodcutters, but I don't have them ready yet. And those are chicken coops, as you can see you get those three items from chicken coops. It's pretty nice, you get sometimes third, sometimes meat, and we have, oh, who left the door open? We have animal snails, which give this loot, so it's pretty good if you get animal snails and chicken coops, like right at the beginning of the game, because they're easy to make. Uh, I have, I think, videos on how to make them on my channel too, so if you're interested, I'll link them down below in the description. Oh, by the way, before we go to the other part I want to show you, uh, we forgot something. So, as you can see, there are the fridges which are of course of no use than just storage box. But on the other side, look at this! There's it to use! We have working ovens on that zone PV. That's right, you can craft ty two types of ovens and let me just see okay let me do as you can see you can craft oven and wall oven which of course are default vanilla versions which don't cook shit but you can craft working oven the nice one and the ugly one and yeah that's that it's easy and you can cook your things and i don't know if that's intentional like someone said like they had um, ovens on some other server and they should have infinite fuel but right now you can use one plant fiber it, it will cook like till forever i don't know if that's bug or if that's intentional but yeah i told a secret now when we are done with the dead zone like server let's go on their website like i think i should have included this at first but who knows what the order of my list is, right? Anyways, as you can see, this is Dead Zone website, and as you can see, you have modded and vanilla servers on the left side, if you see my cursor, and you have this, which is really important. Like, when you come to server, first thing you go is to deadzonepv.com and download the icon pack. You can download it by zip and place it in the mods folder, if I'm correct to like install it or you can just download the installer which will do it for you so it's up to your choice and as you can see there are a lot of useful informations like oh new mods and yeah like events and there are honestly a lot of things you can see on forums but there are two important things that i would like to show you that like i use every freaking day so it's vote and as you can see you go to for vote for a modded server you just vote and i can't show you that right now but when you vote you just go to your game you type vote create and as you can see i already voted but you get a reward and this reward comes in all shapes and sizes in like uh supply drop and you can get a lot of things, guns, solar panels, um, land climb blocks, because you can't craft land climb blocks on this server, they are like rare items, which also you can buy from custom shop, and many more things. And the other thing is modded map. This 
is like amazing so you sign up and as you can see you can sign up and I hope I'm not sharing any sensitive information and hold and behold you can see all the things you want on the map all the things that are explored like you can see hostiles looks like yeah in terms of zombie zombie mode is around here and i don't know there is just right now it's small amount of zombies but usually there are around 60 70 zombies on server you can check like as you can see you can see region files you can see also animals and you can see land climbs which tell you who is building or living near you so yeah as you can see this is the spawn area which has a lot of things and why does have Uganda warrior a red land climb block I don't know that's weird I guess but anyways yeah this is the map which you can use to locate the cities like myself and I found at this location this is my house no this is my house that I have like one, two, three cities like right next to each other and this one has, as you can see, military base right here the second one has a military like middle base and military camp and the third one has um... I don't know nothing but there's one more town over here and it's also in wasteland but look at this it has one, two, three, four four military bases and this here is fifth custom uh, military POI so that's five bases in one town that's crazy and if you know how the buildings look from upside you can guess what they are so yeah and it has another town nearby which has also a lot of things in it but anyways I guess that's that so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did a like would be appreciated and see you guys next time bye